Greetings and salutations viewers to Desai Cybertron X coming to you with a new Transformers review. And I'm going to be doing it on a fairly recent figure release. Um, I'm doing it on Generations, Transformers Generations Thrust. Yes, I've gotten another one of the Seekers. I only have two. I have Classics, or the Classics uh, Starscream in this one. Um, as you can see, he is a wonderful representation of the original G1 figure. They are using the original Seeker mold for Starscream with some improvements, uh, namely the back wings here and the regular wings. You can actually get a little bit more articulation out of Star uh, out of thrust than you could Starscream. Um, really nicely detailed. Extremely, I mean, I paid eleven dollars for him, and he looks a whole lot better than the Hinkey version. He even has chrome in the cockpit. If you can see here, let me adjust something here. You could probably make out the chrome right there. Now, he is a wonderfully stylized figure, uh, very reminiscent to his original G1 figure. The uh, transformation is the exact same as the classics, except for a little difference here and there. Uh, he has his little wind thrusters here, the uh, landing gear nipples, which are right there. Uh, I really love the dark, dark purple, uh, almost a rust color to this fi to this figure. Uh, very nice features. Um, I really can't... I, I'm ready to get a uh, Masterpiece Grimlock because I have an idea of sticking him in Grimlock's mouth for a photo. Um, I hope to get him soon. Uh, very nice. Uh, love the cut. Like I said, love the colors. Everything is very G1 esque with this. I mean, I mean, you get post Billy out of this one, and you did the G1. I would love to get a G1 of him, but uh, I will go with this one. Transformation. Go ahead and fold out the back. Take off his null cannons. Fold in the fist, just like the original Seeker mold. But here at the head, you pull this out, and instead of folding pieces back, mine is really stiff, which I like. You pull this up, you rotate the cockpit like that, and rotate the nose cone, like so. Uh, fold in the arms, and snap them down. And you can then roll back the wings. Like so, pick in the legs, push in till they snap, fold down the feet. Now you can go with them looking like this, but I go ahead and attach the null rays back here. I don't know why. Oh, put them on the well, let's go ahead and stick them back to be G1 look. Be careful, these things do have a hair trigger. And there you go, he is in jet mode. I mean, come on, people. That is extremely fantastic jet mode. There again, the same issue. You have this big open hole here, but other than that, I can forgive it. Uh, I would love to get, uh, what is it, Ramjet, and maybe even a dirge of this. I would so do love it. Um, I've been looking for a Ramjet, and I missed him. I would love to get one. Um, so, yes, I do recommend getting this figure if you can. Um, he is full naked bacon. This is Cybertron X. Later.